break with me. Woo! Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel. So, <clears throat> let's talk a little bit about MAC Cosmetics. <sighs> I don't know what has been up with MAC Cosmetics lately, but it's like collection after collection after collection after collection. And every single time a new collection gets announced, I'm like... No, I just, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna follow the hype. I'm not gonna be another cow that gets herded into the hype. But without fail, it always ends up happening. And it happens in part because I have a friend, or also known as my MAC Cosmetics partner in crime friend, Jess, from Love for Lacquer. Um, and we just, we just follow the hype. I mean, we can't help it. And then I always say, coffee break research. And that's how I convince myself. There are a lot of collections that I have skipped out on that I'm not impressed with. Like uh, the uh, Maleficent one, I skipped out on that one. The Lord one, I don't know if it's coming out or if it already came out. I mean, it's summer and that's like a black lipstick not really appropriate at this time so I'm gonna skip that one so I don't buy every single collection but there are some collections that do draw my attention and this was definitely one of them so the UPS guy actually just dropped off my um, Osborne Sharon and Kelly Osborne product to be a almost like a first look haul and tiny mini review on the Sharon and Kelly Osborne matte cosmetics collection this collection came out June 2nd online, and it's going to be out, I think, very soon online and in stores. I'm going to find the exact dates, just like I did with the Alluring Aquatics, Alluring, just like I did with the Alluring Aquatics collection and list it in the description box. The dates, the websites, where you can find them, all of that will be listed in the description box in case you missed the online sale. So let's jump right in. I'm not wearing any lipstick because I got two lip products that I'm really excited to try. <gasps> Look at these goodies. Oh. So first, first look. The Sharon Osborne products are shiny, like a like a patent red, and then the Kelly products are a matte shimmery purple. Does that make sense? No, and only in my head. You know what I mean, right? Like it's not shiny, it's not glossy. It's like a metallic, a non-metallic glossy lavender. No, okay, never mind. <laughs> I'll just stop trying to describe things. I'll just show it to you. So the very first thing that I got is what I want to put on now, and this is the patent lip pencil in French Kiss. Um, the Sharon Osborne collection did not have any lipsticks. She only had lip glosses and patent lip pencils. This is what the product looks like. It's just a chubby pencil. But the reason I like this product, did you see I didn't even, I didn't even present the product. I just ripped it open and started putting it on. Where are my manners? Oh wow, it smells really good. These are limited edition. These um, lip pencils are not a part of the permanent collection. This is just a glossy nude pencil. What do you guys think? Again, this is from the Sharon Osborne matte collection, and this is the patent lip pencil in French Kiss. This Sharon Osborne product that I got, of course, is the blush. You guys know I am a self-proclaimed blushaholic. I have no shame. And this is a powder blush in the color Peaches and Cream. All of her packaging has red, and all of Kelly's packaging has like that lilac or lavender color. I'm going to bring you guys in closer so you can get a close-up. Welcome to my face. So this is what her blush looks like. You guys can see it has her signature on the front in like a lavender color. And this is such a pretty pink. It is, um, it, it's bright. It's very bright. Um, but I'm, oh, it's the summer. Who cares? You know, go to town with your blush. Do some like dramatic wing liner, hot pink blush, and like a pretty pout. And you are good to go, my friend. I'm always really happy with MAC blushes. They're such good quality. They stay on my face all day long, and I really don't have any complaints. So when I saw there were going to be two powder blushes in the collection, I was like, oh, I have to be all over that. So that's Peaches and Cream from Sharon Osborne. I also got a quad. Um, each of the girls, <laughs> each of my girlfriends, um, released a quad. I do not get the quads. I always think, uh, I always feel like I'm wasting money because I'm like, well, it's a $45 quad or $44 quad. Um, I can just get a palette for like 50 bucks. It has a lot more colors. But this is the first time that I actually said, you know what? I think I'm going to try this palette. This is what the packaging looks like. This is what the quad itself looks like. 
so it has the clear cover. It's basically the same exact four pan palette as MAC, but the only difference is that it's red. And this is a warm neutral quad. Warm neutrals meaning they are all browns, nudes, or tans, but they all have a warm undertone. The names of the eyeshadows are Sweet Eyes, Sexy Eyes, Femme Fatale, and Embark. Embark sounds very familiar because it is a permanent color of the line. So these palettes have a combination of limited edition and permanent colors. So that's a really pretty palette. Of the four colors, only one of them is matte, and that is Embark, this dark chocolate brown up here in the corner. Let's watch these really quick for you guys in case you are curious to get this palette. Um, it is, again, $44, so they're actually pretty silky. I'm never really disappointed with MAC shadows. They're always pretty good. And you could probably get a lot of serious use out of this palette just because the colors are so, so, so neutral. So those are the four shadows right there. That's her blush and peaches and cream. And then these are the four shadows that you can find in the Sharon Osbourne quad. And then on my lips is the French Kiss Patent Lip Pencil. Now let's talk a little bit about Kelly stuff. And I'm not gonna lie, that's probably what I was the most excited about. So I got three of the Kelly products. Um, the first one that I'm going to show you is the powder blush. And the powder blush is in the color, what's the name of this color? Cheeky Bugger. A satin finish blush just like the Sharon Osbourne one. Hers is a lot more of a muted soft pastel baby pink. It kind of reminds me of Blush Baby. Uh, from MAC, which is one of my super all-time favorite blushes. Um, it is so, so, so pretty. It's showing a little bit more pale on camera. It's a little bit more pink than how it looks. And this is the color swatch for you right there on the back of my hand. The other product that I got from the Kelly Osborne um, collection is the Quad. And you guys don't judge me, but one of the reasons why I got this Quad is because the like really pretty purpley lavender color that's in here and I just thought it looks so cute all put together in the palette. What can I say? If you're watching this channel, it's probably because you understand the compulsion to get products because they're pretty. <laughs> so the colors in this palette are called Spoonful of Sugar, Tickety Boo, Fizzy Rose, and Shadowy Lady. And again, Shadowy Lady is a permanent color from the matte collection, I believe. This is what the colors look like, and that's the color that I was talking about. So let me swatch these for you guys and see if they are as magical as they think they're going to be. Those are the four colors right there. You see the blush at the bottom, and then it goes from lightest to darkest, or the way that they are laid out in the pan. So I really like this palette. I have to say I probably like the Sharon Osbourne palette more um, because I'm going to be reaching for it a lot more often. But the Kelly palette is so pretty, especially for someone that has really fair skin or that is cool toned. These colors would look so beautiful on you. They have almost like a lavender or a lilac influence throughout the shades. The um, first one is a really pretty, although it is kind of shimmery metallic, it'd be a really pretty um, eye brightening color. Um, and then a beautiful taupe um, crease color or transition shade. This pink color, well, it's like a pinkish, pinkish lavender, is really, really pretty. Um, you would probably need like a you would probably need to pack it in, I think, like to pat in the color because if you try to put it on with the brush, it's probably not gonna be as pigmented as you want it to be. And then Shadowy Lady is just a really beautiful color. It's almost like a really, really deep gray, almost black. The last Kelly uh, product that I got was a lipstick. Now let's be real. The four colors in the Kelly collection were very, very, hard to wear. They're not very friendly lipsticks. They are those kinds of lipsticks that would make me look like I'm dead. Very pasty and almost concealer-like. There is like a very concealer-like salmon color, a very concealer-like nude color, a very concealer-like purple color, like this, almost like this color. And then there was this one. The bullet is a really pretty, um, almost like a pearl lavender bullet with her red signature across the bottom. The plastic feels really, really cheap. Not like, like plastic, but kind of cheapy plastic. I don't know. 
I don't know if you know what I'm saying. Um, and then the color that I got, of course, is Kelly Yum Yum. And this is a satin lipstick. And that is what it looks like. You know I had to get my paws on this, right? Like, it's bright, it's happy, it's a pretty color. But it is a satin finish, so I don't know how pigmented it's actually going to show up. guys look at that that is so pretty and I mean it's like two strokes buttery soft super pigmented very very pretty if you're not afraid of bold colors I think you would really like the Kelly yum yum pink I do have to say though this hot pink is very easily dupable. You could find a ton of drugstore dupes for this pink, but it doesn't stop being a really pretty pink color. So that is it for this first look, first impression, mini review slash haul on the Kelly and Sharon Osborne matte collection. You guys, the stuff that I got is so pretty. There were other, um, Skin finishes in the collection, there were some lip glasses, there was a brow kit, um, a li lip pencils, so, and, and brushes. Each of the girls had one brush. There were a lot of other options, but these were the ones that I knew if there was something that I was going to like, it was going to be these. So if you are on the market for a really pretty, maybe mid-range neutral palette, the Sharon Osborne palette is really, really nice. I'm happy with this patent lip pencil, but I do have to say that for $21, I could probably get like a Neutrogena chubby stick or whatever those are called from the drugstore and get the same results. This doesn't seem like something that would be very long wearing. It doesn't say that it has any kind of anti-aging benefits or anything like that. So it's definitely expensive for what it is. Overall, my two favorite products of the entire collection have to be the blushes. The blushes are so pretty. If you want a really beautiful, sweet, pretty daytime look. The Kelly Osborne blush in Cheeky Bugger is very, very pretty. And if you want something that's more hot, more popping for the summer, you know, bright and happy, the Peaches and Cream from Sharon Osborne, this one right here. Ooh, that is so, so pretty. I really hope you guys enjoyed this quick haul mini review. Please let me know in the comment section below if you're going to be shopping for any of these products. And as always, if you found this video useful, entertaining, or learned something, please give me a thumbs up or subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time, this coffee break is over. Bye guys.